Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of October 2023. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. This is the monthly format with the overall energy breaking it down week by week. So your monthly overall is the Knight of Wands in the upright position. Well, this is good old pajama man because he does look like he's wearing pajamas. Not so much in this deck, but he's he'll always be the pajama man to me. The Knight of Wands is a core card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It could be very much uh, this month is surrounding this particular offer because knights usually bring in some kind of offer now the knight of wands could be a quick sale if you have something up for sale it could indicate um somebody comes in quickly and wants to purchase your merchandise the only thing is with the knight of wands it doesn't stick around very long to um let you deliberate he usually wants his answer right away um so this could be um something like that going on this is quicksilver so he's he's a flash in the pan it could indicate for those of you who are young and single this or uh, single and looking i mean you could be single at any age so um this could be somebody new coming on the scene for you libra this person could be quite uh, passionate quite exciting likes to travel um could be making an offer to you know spice up your world maybe wants to take you on a trip somewhere they could be wanting to come in and go do some fun adventurous things for with you um could indicate somebody's traveling to come and see you could be that they want you to come and visit them. This is all about action, fun, movement. For others of you, this could indicate a job offer. Maybe it's an offer to travel somewhere to uh, get a better job or a new job or your first job, <laughs> whatever the situation is. In week one, we have the Six of Wands in the upright, rooted down by the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So the Six of Wands, this is victory all the way, baby. You're coming into the month with a nice victory. It's a completion of something that's getting you a lot of attention. Now, this could be, make sense if you're, you know, in a competitive field. Maybe you've just won some kind of award or tournament or something like that, and everybody's patting you on the back, work well done, you know, that kind of thing. For others of you, you could be going somewhere where you're being well received. It could be going to your hometown to visit or perhaps, um, you know, your family or relatives, your friends are just really happy for what you've achieved thus far. It's just basically, you know, kudos to you getting a lot of attention. The Ace of Pentacles is attached to it here in week one so it could be for you libra this uh, victory has brought an opportunity the ace of pentacles can represent a brand new opportunity it's a new beginning and something it could be that this particular win perhaps um incite some type of offer it could be a job offer for some of you it's like you did so well with that project or that situation so we want to offer you something new it could be um you know some kind of uh, small amount of money that comes your way because of this victory maybe you completed something and there was um, some kind of financial award attached to it. it can indicate a golden opportunity it could be anything from a chance to invest in something anything from real estate to stock market to a new business to invest in yourself uh, it can be a small small inheritance as well in uh, week one week two you have major kind of the moon reverse rooted down by the six of swords in the upright the moon the pisces energy is in reverse which can indicate something gets cleared up sometimes this can indicate there's a misunderstanding there was a misunderstanding and now it's been cleared up it could be um the moon in the upright can sometimes point to deception coming from others or deception coming from ourselves self-deception whatever the situation is it looks like it gets cleared up in week two you find Finally, see the light you see things clearly and it helps you to move on because the six of swords here is all about moving on from emotional difficulties of the past it could be uh, for some of you it could be a relationship you're moving away from for others of you it could be a home it could be a place it could be travel maybe a vacation for some of you the knight of wands is here maybe it's you want to go and visit this person you know or maybe they want to take you on a trip somewhere 
like I said, the Six of Swords can sometimes represent moving on from emotional difficulty. So it could be metaphorically moving on from a situation that was very confusing or very deceptive. Now, in week three, you have the King of Swords here in the upright position, rooted down by the Devil Reverse. The King of Swords is a court card. This time it's Air Energy, which is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating you are on the right path with the communication you need to make. Or, you know, go ahead, say what you need to say if you need to shoot from the hip, if you need to speak up about something and uh, tell your side of the story. You go right ahead. You're on the right path in that respect. Just always speak your truth, speak your mind. Say what you need to say. It will go over well, especially with the devil here in the reverse position. But the King of Swords can also represent someone external to you. This could be somebody you're dealing with. Could be your spouse. Could be a family member, a friend who is speaking up on a matter, a serious matter. Maybe they're speaking their truth and they're telling you how they see things. This is very Libra energy. His, uh, he does have a scale in his hand. So this King of Swords is very... Uh, Libra and very much Libra energy. So definitely take it as a sign that you need to speak up, speak your truth, <clears throat> bring thing back, things back into balance, um, bring things into justice and balance here with your words, it looks like. Um, sometimes the King of Swords can represent dealing with a, 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 a lawyer. It could be a a police officer, a judge, or anybody in the legal field could be an arbitrator. Um, could also be someone in the military or a surgeon. It's also attached to the Capricorn energy here in the reverse position, the devil. The devil in the upright position can point to addictions. It can point to fear holding us back. It can point to temptations. Um, all kinds of things like that. When the card is inverted, however, this is where we have our willpower strong and center. We are definitely all about the willpower. So it could be this is you sticking to your your truth here. So this is the an overcoming fear too. It could be maybe some of you had a fear of speaking up and telling, you know, your side of things or your truth, but now you're overcoming that fear or you're feeling the fear and you're doing it anyway you could be sticking to your uh, willpower your guns very 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 uh, closely you're very much sticking to your guns and you're just saying no i'm not going to do this anymore i'm not going to deal with this anymore i'm done i quit it's over whatever it is that you're trying to steer clear of or stay away from could be obsessive thinking it could be anything but whatever it is it was no good for you anyway so you decided this and now you are going to stay on path and on track moving forward and uh, you're not going to let anything throw you off course here and then look at the beautiful turnout in week four you have the ten of cups in the upright position rooted down by the eight of wands upright see you're doing the right thing in week three by speaking up and saying what you need to say week four you're all about uh, high emotions you're high on emotions and uh, the ten of cups can represent for some of you maybe you are attending an event it could be anything from a birthday party to a, uh, a, a family reunion it could be anything like that you could it's it's a very much a family card family oriented card it could be a get-together where all the family is all there and you're just feeling the love it's a high high feeling of emotional um, abundance and <clears throat> could be represent anything from attending a wedding to, you know, something really special in the family. And you're just looking around going, wow, I just, you know, I just love this situation right now. I love my family. I love being surrounded by these people. And the eight of wands being here can indicate needing to travel to be around this group or with this, um, this feeling of love. The eight of wands is about sometimes sudden travel and it is attached to the ten of cups. Uh, for others of you, this could represent... <clears throat> 
um, arrows of love find their mark. Perhaps you're meeting somebody at this gathering or you're bringing someone along to this gathering, adding to the emotional abundance here. Um, the Eight of Wands is great news for those of you who are, you know, throwing out your resume and stuff like that. You could be getting a lot of uh, things back, like basically a lot of uh, interest back. It could be good news for those of you on dating sites. It could be that you're getting a lot of attention that way. Others of you, it could be that you've just met somebody and there's lots of communication now going back and forth between the two of you. Um, it's, it's a beautiful energy, fast moving energy. And um, yeah, it's really good for those of you who are in business for yourself. It can indicate lots of sales coming through. It can be uh, lots of new clients. Well, as in closing, I always pull two cards from the Zodiac deck. One is for love and romance, and the second is for career and finance. So let's see on the love and romance front, what do we have here for Virgo? We have Scorpio, Moon and Scorpio, numbers 20. Could be something significant happens in your love life when the moon is in Scorpio, or even uh, the second half of October when the sun is in Scorpio, or in Scorpio season. It could be the love interest is a Scorpio. You could find somebody through a Scorpio, or on the 20th of October. And last card here is for career and finance. We have Aquarius, number 35, Awakening. It could be when the moon is in Aquarius, it could be with or through an Aquarian that you have a sudden awakening in your financial situation. So that's what I have for you, my dear Libras. I want to wish you all a happy birthday. I hope you have a great uh, solar return. And I would uh, love it if you would come back again uh, next month for your monthly reading and the weeklies as well. So I hope you have a fantastic month of October and thank you so much for joining me. Hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.